quarantine box braids. I have hit the front row. This is the first time I'm doing box braids. Oh my God. Look pretty good. Decent. At least my parts are like straight, but yeah. Quarantine box braids update. I am on my last one. Started at 320. It is now God, it is what is it, seven o'clock? It's like 715. So not that long, but like this is the first time I'm doing box braids. First time doing box braids and I had Chiny Bump or Bantu knots in to help with the parting and sectioning. And yeah, this is what it's looking like. So I'm on the last one. Um, <clears throat> I was using Shine and Jam for my roots and just like regular grease for my hair. And just rub this on the weave extensions. So this is color four and one. So it's like a little strip of black for length and then the dark brown is my actual hair. So <clears throat> this is the last bit of hair. I'm just gonna unravel this. My hair is like still wet because I washed it yesterday. I'm just gonna comb it out. And then I'm going to do some of my, my grease and run that through my hair. And side note, yesterday when I washed my hair, I had leave-in conditioner, water, castor oil, and the herbal oil. And I greased my scalp. So I still, my hair is still like oily from the day before. So do that. And then we're gonna take the Shine and Jam. Shine and Jam, get my roots. You want to make sure your roots are like slick, slick. This is my first time I'm doing it and I don't even know what I'm saying, but like make sure your roots aren't frizzy. Uh, my friend normally does my hair. Shout out to Snip to my Lou on Instagram, but she normally does my braids and my uh, faux locks and stuff. So during quarantine, she's not even, she's not available, so. I've got to do my hair myself and see how this turns out. I really, really tried. Really, really tried. Okay. So make sure that is all through here. Make sure your roots are super, super, super slick. If you want to like make sure your your baby hairs are all brushed out a little bit, a little bit, and then get your hair. Um, I know people have like sectioned it off in two, split it in two, but I'm not doing that. I'm just um, gonna twist it a little bit. You can either twist it or don't twist it. It's up to you. Like I don't really, I don't, I don't really know. But I was twisting it for a little bit. Then you're going to grab your hair. like so so like now your hair is in that little loop with the two and now you're going to want to start braiding the hair down Make sure you're, like, you're holding your hair tight, too. Okay. 
Okay. And then like here you could start seeing that my, um, oh God, I can't talk. Piece of my hair is left over. So now you're gonna start like adding that piece in where you feel comfortable. You're like, yes, I'm about to add that piece in. Add that piece in, get some shine and jam. Coat the hair a little bit. And then like braid your hair down. And since this is the last one, I had put on like hot water on the stove so I could set the braids. And then I'm gonna put mousse in it and add accessories to my hair. So this is what it looks like. Man, my face is so oily. I look crazy. Like my eyebrows, crazy. Oh God, my face is oily too. But braid your hair down, braid your hair down. Um, trying to think, this will probably last me for like, I don't even know, three weeks maybe, I don't know. Depends on how I take care of it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. is done I'm going to lay my edges down <laughs> lay the edges I'm using the edge booster style factor edge booster in peach it's just the pink one there's like purple and blue and green and I think gray or something I'm not too sure but it looks like that I'm gonna just lay my edges down and then toothbrush Edges have been laid. I don't really think they're slayed, but they're laid. To um, how I normally lay my edges down. Just going to clean up my hair a bit. I just want the it look. I want it to look clean so it gets set nicely Chaos. Chaos. that's all so now I'm going to uh, yeah tie my I'm going to rub some oil on my hair and then I'm going to dip it in hot water. You really don't know if you're supposed to dip your dip it, dip your hair in hot water first or put oil on like I don't know, don't, don't come for me. 